We're going to show you how to use a frequency generator or a function generator, as some will call it, to test or you know, kind of take a stepper motor for a test run. Since you can't hook it directly up to a battery, it requires the stepping voltages. So um, what we'll do is first make sure that the logic level, that the input signal is correct. So on this um, Rigoli unit, I'll come over to square wave, make sure it's on square wave, and then set the amplitude to 5 volts, and then the offset uh, should be uh, 2.5 so that it centers on, well, the center will be at 2.5 and, and then it'll drop down to 0 and up to 5. Another way to think about it, if I push this button, it'll switch to high and low level. The high level should be 5, and the low level should be 0, as this expects a 0 to 5 volt signal. Um, and come to our frequency. We can really set the frequency to whatever we want, but we have to start out slow so the step motor can catch up. Uh, so 1,000 hertz. Um, this motor is a, eight, or is a 400 steps per revolution, but because this stepper driver is set to one half micro stepping, it will require 800 pulses on the step pin to go around one full revolution. So I'll just set this to 800 hertz, and we should see about one full revolution per second. So one 1,000. 1,000, 1,000, 1,000, right, something like that. And then from there, we can just kind of crank it up. So that stopped at about uh, 20,000 hertz. I think we can go a little faster. It's really humming there at 30,000 hertz. So 30,000 hertz divided by 800 is, uh, I think it's a little over, let's see, 20, 2400 hertz would be 3,000. RPM. Um, so I think we're a little over 3,000 RPM. Anyway, um, that's just an easy way of using a frequency generator. You could program an Arduino or something to output a certain frequency, uh, but the frequency generator is very easy to use. So I uh, hope you found the video useful.